Hey guys, this is Landon Blake from Redefine Horizons, and this is the second video in a set of videos I'm going to do <clears throat> that show you basically how you can add some important value to your client by uh, taking their kind of napkin sketch requests for work and figuring out uh, what they actually need to accomplish their, their bigger, kind of bigger picture goal. And uh, if there's alternative ways to do that, um, or maybe they maybe they do have the best way and you got to figure out how much it costs and what the schedule is going to be. Um, anyways, that's a really important role that uh, consultants and especially land surveyors fill on uh, the early phases of a real estate development project. And uh, don't always get compensated for that either, but <laughs> uh, it is it's a really important service. So in the first video, I kind of ran you down uh, what the client was asking us to do. In this particular case, it's, it's, uh, we're trying to not only map some utilities, but determine the condition and capacity of some utilities. And just we're, just, we're trying to get a handle on how we get utility service to the portion of the site that we're going to redevelop. So it's a really important question that the client's trying to answer. And as I mentioned in the, in the first video, they're, they're redeveloping a portion of this property to to put office buildings on. So that's what we're trying to do. So in the last video, we started with the spreadsheet. I've got it. I've got my screen split here. I've got the PDF on the top and I've got the spreadsheet down below. Um, I would normally do this with two. I have two monitors, but I can't record both at the same time. So we're just going to do it with a split screen. Okay, so we're going to start filling this out. So task one. So I'm going to call this T01. Okay, and the uh, utility type in this case is electric power. I apologize if you hear my hoodlum family in the background. They're watching Star Wars and being way too noisy. <laughs> All right, so uh, we want to know, is this original contract work? So and to, to do that, you have to understand my original scope for the project, which you do not, uh, but I have, a, I have a rough idea. And so it's... When I answer that question, the, here's the two things I got to ask. Number one, it, was it in the mapping limits? And number two, was it reasonable? Uh, was it reasonable that we would obtain the data they were asking for as part of our original scope? So in this case right here, we're looking at these electric vaults. Uh, those are in scope. There are uh, sorry, they are within the mapping limits. So I'm I'm inside of the. Uh, uh, this is R T Jones Road here. I'm inside of that, so it's in the project site. But what they're talking about is popping open some high voltage vaults to poke around and that is not something that is covered in our standard uh, utility mapping scope uh, we probably have to have an escort from the power provider in this case I think it's PG&E uh, pg is going to want to be on site to escort us there and that we still depending on the voltage may not even be able to get into that uh, so there's some coordination issues there with PG&E that we need to be aware of so we are going to say no, that was not original contract work. It was in the mapping limits, but it was not part of our scope. And uh, I'm just going to add a row here to our spreadsheet. And uh, we're going to just say within mapping limits because I think I should know that too. Okay, so in this case, the answer is no. It wasn't in the mapping limits. And uh, this is going to be not applicable because it wasn't original contract work. Can we do that in-house? Yes, and I'm going to put with escort, more than likely. And uh, description is going to be uh, inspect inspect condition and capacity of underground electric power bolts. And I'm just going to put power bolt slash conduit. Okay. All right. So that's the first one. <clears throat> Let's go look at the second one here. So this would be gas. So what are they asking us to do here? Uh, they say confirm what gas utilities are existing and active in this area. Now he's clouded a little bit of Moffat Boulevard there, which was outside of the scope, but this, this stuff is in. Uh, so let's let's run through this. So this is going to be TO2 for a task identifier. 
utility type is gas. I'm going to say this is this is original contract work. Um, it is within the mapping limits. Yes, I'm just going to say except for portion in. It's not Moffat Boulevard. It's R.T. Jones Road. And field data was obtained. We're going to double check on this, but I'm pretty sure the answer is yes. So this is data we already have, and either they don't know where to find it or we didn't send it to them. I'm pretty sure we sent it to them. So uh, we just need to help them. We just need to help them find that data. But we have it. We should have it. And uh, is it in-house? Can we do it in-house? I'm going to say not applicable because we've already got the data. Okay, and so description is just going to be locate all gas utilities within the mark uh, let's just say within the limits defined by the client okay and I'm just gonna put a note here uh, original contract didn't include locating gas utilities in RT Jones Road and the reason that's important is, of course, that might require traffic control depending on the, the road and how busy it is and what time we're out there. Okay. All right. So task number three and four. So we've got two tasks here related to the storm. Okay. So we're going to say T03 is uh, just to confirm some information on this. It looks like. Yeah, see, it's a little confusing here. He's got he's got two pipes clouded, but he's talking about one pipe. I'm assuming he's talking about two pipes. Um, this pipe is probably in contract because it's in the mapping limits, and we would normally do that. Um, man, it's just hard to tell. If, if he's worried about all this piping here, that, that's not in limits. Uh, that's not in the mapping. It wasn't in my original contract mapping limits, so it's, it's by definition out of scope. So we're going to say storm. I'm going to say, no, that is not original contract work. Um, and I'm going to just put a, uh, I'm going to put an asterisk there. Um, so is it within the mapping limits? No, with an asterisk. Looks like I'm saying no problem there. Uh, no. Uh, field date obtained? No. Uh, can we do this in-house? Yes, we can. And we're going to say, um, uh, we'll say storm drain pipe within, or let's say storm drain pipe outside of RT Jones Road is original contract work. We likely have this data. Storm drain structures and pipes outside of RT Jones Road are outside of the mapping limits and we're not in the original contract. Okay, let's uh, we're gonna word wrap this real quick. Let's say we're not covered by the original contract okay now in this particular case we have two tasks for the storm so we've got this to4 up top here oh he split them up I'm sorry no now this is different uh, T so task 4 confirm the storm pipe exists that ties into RT Joan Road it looks to me like that was in our original uh, scope depending on what he wants out there in the road, but I think I'm going to give him this one. I think that's on us. So I'm going to say yes, it's original contract work. It is within the mapping limits. I just can't get no here to s correctly to save my life. Uh, I'm going to leave that there. Uh, field data obtained. We should have got that. I'm going to double check, but I'm going to say yes. Can we do it in-house? Uh, it's not applicable because we should already have the data. Okay, and we're going to we're just supposed to confirm existence location 
and type of storm drain pipe. All right, guys, I know I'm at 10 minutes. Uh, we're going to wrap this up here pretty quick. So now uh, this is sewer. And so we've got two tasks for sewer five and six. So we're going to say TO5 and TO6. And these are both sewer questions on sewer. Okay, so let's see. Uh, it'd be nice if I just did this description first, huh? So, um, so he wants us to confirm the infrastructure is present. Uh, and we, you know, we want to confirm the elevation and the size. Uh, hmm. I'm going to say that was probably contract work. Part of that pipe is out, but I feel like we owe this to him. So I'm going to say it's original contract work. It is within the mapping limits, except for that little piece in Archie Jones Road. But normally when I've got a majority of a pipe inside the limits like that, that's on us to go get that next upstream or downstream structure, typically. Uh, field data obtained. I'm going to say, yeah, man, my guy should have that. Uh, we will double check. Uh, can we do it in-house? That's not applicable because we already have the data. So uh, task. Oh, man, I think I got my numbering wrong. Oh, nope, that's three and four. So you don't want to get your numbering wrong. Don't be a bonehead like me. Uh, task three and four. Oh, we're good. That's task five. All right. So this is, I'm just going to copy this down. We're doing the same thing here, except it's a sewer pipe. Okay, so then this task six. Uh, again, same same kind of thing. This they want scoped, so that's a little different. So what I'm going to do, I didn't write this down, but I'm going to break this out. I'm going to do a task uh, 6A and a task 6B, okay, and I'll explain that in a minute. Uh, this is this is tough because most of this sewer pipe is out. Uh, so I could go either way on that one if it's in or out. So in a case like that where it's really on the fence, um, I'm going to say that uh, I'm going to give it to the client. So I'm going to say, yeah, we should have got that. Okay, so yes, it's in except for it's in the mapping limits except for the piece in the road. Man, I'm gonna say we should have got my boy should have got that. So I'm gonna say we do have the data. I'm gonna put not applicable on in house. Now in this other thing here, uh, this other part, you got to look really careful. This is why it's so important to really carefully read what the client's asking for. They want us to scope that. I assume scope means CCTV video inspect. Uh, we will confirm that. But I'm gonna put on here. Clean and perform CCTV pipe inspection of sewer pipe. Okay, and that was definitely not in my scope. It is in the mapping limits. So this is an example of something that's in the mapping limits but not in the scope because of the type of work. No, it was not covered in the original contract. And can we do it in-house? The answer is no. I cannot do that in-house. I have to sub that out. So uh, that's going to involve uh, hiring and coordinating with a sub. Okay, that takes care of the sewer. All right, then we've got the water. Okay, so we've got task seven and eight. So let's do T07. So on task seven, he's just kind of asking for water everywhere. We should have done that. Like, I own this stuff location and type of water structure. Uh, so I'm going to say, yes, it's in the mapping limits. Um, it, it, it was contract work and it was in the mapping limits. Now, he does have some, some parts of this that are outside the mapping limits. So this stuff down here in the right-of-way, this is the freeway right-of-way. Um, and this, this, this is actually even on the other side of the on-ramp. That was not in scope. Now, he's probably just drawing a big square box. So I'm going to have to drill down and ask the client, hey, do you really want this stuff right here? And do you really want this stuff right here? 
um, or, or is that just your box? And we're, we're going to need to put together some kind of exhibit form. So I'm going to say within mapping limits, uh, I'm going to just like give a vague and unconvincing answer here. I'm going to say partly with an asterisk. And uh, field data obtained, we should have that with an asterisk. Um, it's not applicable. Well, I'm going to put yes because there's going to be some of this that we that's outside the limits, but we do do it in-house. I'm going to say uh, should have provided the data being requested inside the mapping limits. Need to confirm if the client really needs water information along Stevens Creek. That's the creek over on the left side of the page. And within the highway 101 right away. And I have the feeling the answer is yes for the stuff in the right away. So which means that you know there may be some coordination with Caltrans about getting some of their utility plans and uh you know, we got to get permits to get in the right of way to do anything. So that'll be fun. Okay, so that was task seven. Task eight, uh, there is a 20-inch water main that goes along the, the sound wall of the freeway. We know that. I knew it was there. Uh, we sketched it in. We did not locate it. And water mains are really tough. Uh, they're tough to locate, especially if they're, if they're plastic. And even if they're metal and they're corroded, they're tough. So that's task eight. It's water. Uh, I'm going to say no, that wasn't in, a, in, in contract uh, just because we locate water lines if they have a if they have a tracer wire, if we can get a good signal. This one didn't. Uh, there are other things we can do to locate it. We can use GPR sometimes depending on the soil conditions. And then there's some other things you can do. There's some other tricks, uh, but it's definitely not in scope. Uh, was it in the mapping limits? Yes, it certainly was. Um, let's see... Uh, the field data? No, I know we didn't get that. We couldn't find it. We looked for it. Look for the water line. Um, can we do that in-house? Yes. And I'm just going to make a note here. May need to talk to the client about alternative locating methods like GPR. Or maybe, maybe we got a pothole. Uh, and some of that's going to depend on how critical it is to their design. And I don't know, they may they may want to move that water line. They may want to trench across it. They may want to bury it in 20 feet of fill. Uh, so I'll have to work with my civil engineer and uh, and the client. We'll get that figured out. And yeah, if we, we've got to really find that thing, we might have to spend a little bit of money to get it done. All right, guys, we're almost done. One more. Task nine. Uh, so we've got to locate a comm line. Says locate Verizon line and other comm line. I'm not really clear where he's pointing with his arrow, uh, but if it's this piece right here, I'm gonna say, man, that was in scope. We owe that to him. I'm trying to be good to my client here, so uh, I think that was in scope. So this is communications. Uh, let's just. I'm gonna go ahead and maximize that now. Uh, was it original contract work? It sure was. And was it in the mapping limits? It sure was. Uh, I'm going to say except for the piece in R.T. Jones Road, but we should have traced it at least to the road. Uh, field data obtained. I'm going to say yes, in-house, so not applicable. We already have the data. And this description is locate two communication lines. All right. Okay, I'm just about done. I'm double the length of my normal video, but uh, so I'm not gonna make this a whole lot prettier. Uh, this this is essentially uh, just for internal use. So this is just helping me wrap my brain around the scope this, these guys needs, and it's gonna help me with the cost. Um, what I do want to do is I want to highlight things that I I'm pretty confident are not contract work. So we're gonna put those in a different color because that's what I'm gonna need to scope and put a cost on. So we've got, I don't know, maybe 30% of this. We probably own already, and we probably already have the data. They just aren't finding it. And maybe we didn't do a good job in the way we gave it to them. That's always a possibility. 
Okay, so ah, it looks like 50-50. So about half of what they're asking for was in scope. About half was not. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'll use this to put together a, a rough scope and a cost estimate, and then uh, we'll we'll present the client with some alternatives. You know, there's some risk here. We could spend some money on things like GPR and still not find stuff. There's coordination to do with Caltrans. There's coordination to do with the pg e to get in those high voltage vaults. Um, I'm gonna have to hire a sub. So this is a this is a fiasco. Uh, this is hard stuff. This is why people uh, people don't like to do utilities. They don't like to deal with utilities. They don't like to do utility mapping. But we're good at it, um, and so we're gonna do it. And our client needs it done, so we're gonna take care of them. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end, end this video. And, and I can't promise you I'll be able to do the videos to finish this out, but I'm going to try. All right, guys, thanks for watching.